Hey YouTube, so um, today we're going to show you how to set up your um, virtual box, your virtual machine to run Linux on your um, run Linux or a different operating system on your computer, a different on uh, Windows operating system. So checklist you need virtual box, plug it with a free space is recommended and I would ISO image of those you want. First thing you do, is download the link, you go to virtual box, I'll put this in the description, download your ISO image so I have Linux Mint here. And then you install VirtualBox. After that's installed, you get this window here. I have some ones already installed, so just get a new one going. You hit new. Type name in, so Linux. Um, you. Okay, so you got YouTube and version. Um, if you don't see yours, so there's not a whole ton list that you got. You got your traditional Linux, the uh, the ones the um. Once they're in here, I had Linux 2.6. So if you're using um, Mint, you're going to have to put it as 2.6 64-bit. So make sure you have your 64-bit linked up with the right ISO you choose. Choose the RAM you want to give it. So I have a total of 8 gigs, if whatever. I usually just stick with 2. Linux can run fine with 2, but if you run Windows or if you're going to do something with it. And you create virtual hard drive. So virtual hard drive is just really, it's not even a separate partition. It's part of your hard drive. It's just like a file. That is great as a hard drive. You know, I just always use a virtual disk image, the first one there. And dynamic, let's use choose the size you want. So um, it gives you recommend you eight gigs, so you can go down to five or whatever. But you want some space to download stuff. So you're gonna keep using it. I have a total. I don't even have two terabytes, so I don't know why it says two terabytes there. You know, create it. You got your thing right there. Now. Here's where it gets tricky. You have to um, hit settings. So I, at least I do it. And you go to um, storage. And your um, control IDE. Go to your, S your thing. Live CD. And you have to. Oh. Well, maybe, sometimes you have, you have to go in here and you have to add, a, find your CD and add it. You're like your ISO image if it doesn't work. That's not what I do for Windows 10. Okay, so you're just gonna hit start. We'll start booting in a sec. And here it is. It found my it found my ISO and my my computer. If you can, you can always go right here and browse your files, but we don't have to do that. I hit start. So you can boot. You could adjust the screen size right here, but I wouldn't recommend that because then um. You're gonna. It could crash it. It's 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 not. It's, it's fairly sketchy because um it, it's running on top. You're running a computer on top of your computer, so it's not totally reliable or so safe. So there's gonna boot and it'll install and it'll work fine. So you can turn it off right up here. Just hit um shut it down. I don't really like care about it that much. And there's a, you can, there's a few settings you can do regarding your your computer. So one way this if say reasons you would want to have a a virtual box uh, a virtual machine on top of your computer, say you don't have enough hard drives, so you don't want to partition split your hard drive where you want it to work in Windows, or have Linux or have Windows on top of Linux, something like that. Then you can go to settings and you get your display. So you get your processor. I have a one down to one CPU. I would recommend changing this. Because um say you're running like Linux a lot like your virtual box a lot and like it's only used in one CPU you're going to use the CPU more than the other ones and it'll like lower the lifetime motherboard like I don't mess with that you display uh, I have a mess with that and you can you store um, your display if you have like a video card but it only goes up to 129 since I have four monitors this is how many greens it has is um will go up to there but just stick with one monitor. It's Linux. It's, un it's just it's kind of sketchy. Okay, so that's all. You can save it. Windows uh, Windows 10. It should work with anyone. And um, hope you liked it. This video is helpful and show you how to do it. It's pretty simple. I've had a little bit of issues with Windows 10. I did it. I had to go into says this IDE thing here. Mess with that. So you hit Control ID and hit the extra one there, and it makes it work. Um, so that's all. Um, if you like the video, 
comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.